Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG that I'm very excited to play again with you today. I want to check a thing before we go into our adventure. By the way, today is a boss fight coming up. I want to see if I can build more warrens. And I, yeah, I can. I can build another armory. I can get another quarters. And these take ore and rock. I think I want to do that. I really think I want to do that. So let's go with this because it gives us technically a higher chance for rare shrine blessings and a reduction on the corrupted shrine chance. Uh, what we want is probably upgrade that as well, but you know, that's gonna come in later. Okay, uh, we cannot build another, another barracks though, right? Because I want to upgrade my roster size, but we need wood, which is a bottleneck for us, and bone. Bone is not the biggest of deals. <sighs> Alright. So, that being said, you know what? I'm gonna already build some more rooms, because I can. We have a lot of money right now. So, here we go. Looking good now. Perfect. So, what are we doing today, guys? We are going in with our squad that we have built the last time, and I wanna check out the new boss battle. There's a big slimy boy coming up. Uh, which is currently held captive by halflings. So let me try if we can free this guy or just destroy it. Let's go in with these few. Is unarmed. Hold up. Hold up. Why? Ah, uh, because we got a temporary weapon last time, right? Gain five life per attack. It's pretty good. Everybody else. Water staff, job on axe, weaker shield. Let's go. Okay. I really feel like we should technically get rid of these guys again, you know, just getting and harvesting those beautiful, beautiful souls, but we also need some replacements for these guys. We have a knockback chance, that's pretty cool, because we will be attacking a lot, and that means that we will be able to oh, <laughs> get a lot of stuff done. Do I want the permanent upgrade, or do I want to the stronger? but temporary upgrade. I'm gonna go with the temporary upgrade. I really feel like we're gonna cycle through the goblins again so that we can get the souls and upgrade our lair a bit more. They I believe it's the right thing to do right now. Physical party, strength increased by 15, or the crit. We have a lot of physical attacks. But I'm a sucker for crit chance. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go with the higher blessed. chance, or with the chance of dealing uh, a bit more damage. Instead of the uh, consistent damage up. I love to see the, the tree here. <laughs> I really do. So, in we go. Hinky Punk. Sure. What are you attacking? The frontliner? Alright. Let's go then. Motivate, Furious Cleave. We're gonna go with the Cleave because it'll affect two of them. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Strike. Getting rid of the shield makes a lot of sense here. Uh, get the crit. <laughs> nice! A precise assault. So, one down, four to go. I think in this position we just want to try to get the kills as quickly as possible. Nice Let's do it. Down. Alright, so our Acolyte has Divine Fury ready. I'm gonna go in with the... Bl Do I go? Yeah, it's it's the faster attack. <laughs> nice crit, nice pushback. Cool, we actually got our bear's uh, knockback thingy from the Oriflame thing. Um, Stun doesn't do a lot here. I think I'd rather intercept the second one. There we go. We got Soul Gale for the potential knockback. We did get it. They're still pretty fast, except for the last zombie. Alright, what do we do here? Double shot. It's not quite there. Ow. 12 damage. Actually hurtful. Um. Yeah. I want to heal myself up. I want to be as pr um, protected as protected can be, because there are more fights coming up, and I I want to be at full health when I'm going into them, so... Mm. The heal is important. Okay, we are ferocious now. 
Hmm. 38% for crit? We didn't get it? Oh no. No double shot? Oh wait, it's the raider. It doesn't have double shot. So you know what? We're fine. We're just gonna go and kill these fools now. Should we? Yeah, we should. Just end it. I was thinking about, like, getting another swift mend out or something, but it's fine. Preventing damage by killing enemies is always good. Okay. Let's keep going. Question is, where do we want to go? Treasure into shop. Seems good. But we know that we can find wood on the harvest end, so we're gonna go battle into Guru into... Um... No. Uh, battle into Guru into a tough fight with the Harvest. That seems like a very good idea. Also gives us a bit of... Uh, a bit of a power-up. For the remainder of this adventure. Upgrading our skills is really good. Oh no. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna guard my Shaman. You can take it, buddy. You got a big health pool. <laughs> Alright then. Set up the trap. This is going to hurt, I can tell you. Nice crit. Nice trap. Nice damage. <laughs> oh no. We certainly need some heals here. Ah, uh, we also need to get rid of the bleed. Purify yourself. That's a howl. The multi-attack is gonna get stronger and stronger. Oy, oy, oy. I'm gonna go with the chop. Chance for a... No, wait. We don't have a chance for a bleed. Not on the chop. We have a chance for thunder. I wonder if a heal is good here. We only affect two goblins. I don't think it's great. What we want is raw damage. Get one of these out of the game. Excellent mm -hmm. strike. Yeah. I think it helps us more. This is interesting. Hold up. So, if I motivate you... Uh, seven damage. Okay. Uh, you have Divine Fury dealing 19 damage. Nice. And then 9 to the other wolf in the back. I think it was worth it. Totally. Beast Bane Arrow. Get the kill. And all of a sudden, this fight looks less scary. This is a normal fight, by the way. Huh. If we armor up... We might... Oh, another howl. I wanted to say we might be able to intercept the guy here. Slicing dagger, wakey wakey, just a chop. Ah, weird. Don't think that the slicing dagger will unfold its full potential so we go for instant damage. Let's do it. Alright, what we need is an intercept. Yes, perfect. We got 11 armor. Correct? Oh, only 10. Heal? No heals. Oh, no heals coming up. Well then, we go for the biggest pinpoint damage that we can get out there. Let's focus him down. This is not good. Sure. We got the freeze. Super helpful. And time are potent medicines. Okay, motivate you. We need the healing shand and we need it right now. Come on. It's also pretty cool that the raider is tired, which makes it so that we heal double on him. Divine Fury or Bludgeon Fury deals more damage, so let's go with that. And it crits. It doesn't kill. Luckily, we blocked completely. Alright, so... Yeah, we just kill. <laughs> what am I thinking here? We just go in for the kill. Yeah, we kind of... With each victory... Kind of recovered from it. And there's a bit of food. Beautiful. Nothing to find here, huh? Should I already eat the food? 20% of the life. That makes sense. Yeah. On both of you. 
So, almost healed up completely. We go low for the guru. And then we're gonna go for the tough fight, whatever that might be. The old Hello! Guru has much to teach. God, wakey wakey, battle cry. What's the battle cry upgrade? Ooh, more power up. But guard is really good as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with the battle cry. Let's try this out. Uh, we get the guard anyways. Love it. Board. So it's two instances of block and pestilence. Why is it outline blue? Ah, probably just a weird bug. Um, foes with slow take double amount. We don't really have slow. Some poison seems good. Scold is also pretty good. The 30% of your weapon's power on top of the fury makes for real good big damage numbers. The problem with poison is it, it triggers after the enemy have taken a turn, so you, we usually want to prevent them from taking the turn, and that makes poison less interesting. I'm gonna go with the scold. An improvement. We have a decent amount of valuables, so a shop would be a good idea as well. And there is one coming up. Okay. Let's go. It's another tree. Baradul is very happy if he sees a tree in this game. Intercept armor up. Yeah. Mm. We intercept zombie number two. And we push him back. That's good, actually. That's good. Now we can completely focus on the frontliners. Here we go. There's the battle cry. Make it count, baby. It's not bad. Exceptional skill. Exceptional. Cool. Can we deal 30 damage here with a crit? Mm, I think we could have with a crit. Anyways. Yeah, get him out of the game. Just kill. We are currently in an aggressive state, getting the plus five power, so make use of it. Make uh, Making use of it makes a lot of sense here. Pestilence. Wow! Wow! Amaze balls. Really good. Get the hinky punk out. Great. And we can possibly kill the first dude here. We can certainly kill the second liner, which feels like a wasted intercept, but hey. If we can't take an enemy out, we shall do it. So, this was the hard fight, by the way, right? The wolves earlier was the easy fight. This is the hard one. It's crazy. A precise assault. Let's go, Grotbeater. Nice, another 150. Oh, we're gonna buy everything in that shop. Cool. These will be put to good use. Shop is in the low ground, correct? Uh, we could also just go for the treasure. Ooh, and I want to get to the smithy. Ah, difficult. I mean, in the end, I think it doesn't matter. That was not a quote. But I, th oh God, I think I want the shop for potential harvesting material. All right, we didn't get the surprise, sadly. What are we doing here? Just armoring up. Armor doesn't do a lot against these guys because they are poisonous. Let's try to go for an aggressive attack. Excellent strike. Yeah. Nice. A powerful Good crit. Start. You also got Fury now. I don't know if the Fury is gonna come in. Uh, honestly, I really feel like double shot is just better than thrust most of the time. Exceptional. Skill. Because sometimes I just don't care who's getting hit. And in that instance, I'm like, yeah, just deal more damage. Rat down. All right. I, I mean, yeah. With a bit of luck, we are able to kill here. Oh, oh we just heal a little bit. Except the damage that's coming. And 
do it later again. Yep. This is a heal up round for us, and I'm very happy about the crit here. Mm mm. Really good. Yeah, we, we take a bit of damage, but again, it's not the biggest of deals because the poison will only uh, start ticking down after we have a turn. Like this. So thrust will kill? No, but double shot will. That's the thing. Ha! Huh. Goblins ha! Of a Maybe we should swap weapons? We have so much money. Ooh, and food. A respectable hole. Good. Into the shop we go. Before we go and check it out, I want to see if there's anything to find here. Hmm, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. There is much of use here. So, I'm gonna get rid of these things instantly. There's no need for us taking anything home in terms of valuables. Uh, we have enough money. I, in fact, I will buy everything except for leather and bone. We need all of these things. Mm -hmm. Damage versus undead, 50. Armor plus 5. Chance to bleed. Don't mind if I do. I'll even take the food because Just we have money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so who wants the armor? I know a guy who wants some armor. Let's go. Who wants the bleed? The guy with double, uh, like double shots? Yeah. And then we have damage versus undead, which we're gonna hold on to for the moment because. Oh, we can go to the smithy. I wanted to say because there is another treasure. And that could give us another weapon. Let's go to the smithy. We Again, we have a lot of money. Here we go. Sharpen their blades. They will soon need them. Hmm. So what do we upgrade? I think the hunter with the double shot and everything is a pretty good target. He also has a speed bonus. Let's go with that. 5% chance to fail. 25% chance to fail. I thought we had a fail chance reduction. That doesn't feel like it right now. Anyways. 41% chance to fail. That would be an 18 power weapon. Ah, alright. We failed. A poor turn of luck. It's good enough, thank you. <laughs> so we can go for the hard fight, which is another harvest, and another smithy. Sure. Which probably means that we're gonna keep our weapons. And that means that we should get the damage versus undead bauble in one of them. Sure. Alright then. Eh? Turn around. Okay. Get him down! I think this fight is gonna be extremely easy after the upgrades that we got. Double guard. Scold. Oh yeah, I like it. You got Divine Fury, huh? Alright. I could have also pulled him to the front, but this is a one tick um, attack, so I might as well just do that. 13 damage, times two. Okay. This is damage versus undead bonus, so that kills. Yeah. And you got Divine Fury, which means that if I hit you... Ah, random adjacent, not the guy after him. Okay, I thought I could also kill the skull. But you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Excellent Cat wrecked. Yeah, we have a little bit of chip damage on everybody, but I, I think it's not really dangerous yet. Um, Give Fury. There's something wild coming up. Yeah, Rattle is good. 
nice stun. So with the double shot or our poke attack, the, the thrust, we already kill. Ooh, wait. What if I battle cry these guys as well? It stacks! Yeah, plus eight damage! What? That's wild. Shattering blow. This is pretty cool, Shuffling man. Fortitude. Move on. All right. Double, double harvest? No. This will come in handy. So again, we have enough money. There's another smith coming up, and I like it. Chonk, chonk, chonk. Hello. So we still have this. No, we start fresh. Let's make the ultimate hunter. This has a 0% chance to fail, and now we... we... Why? The other one started at, what, 4% and went up to 20-something? This is down to 16 now. Okay, now we have a 100% fail chance. Alright, let's go for the Raiders upgrade then. Amazing. Fine work. Keep going. Lucky me? Nah. It's fine. It's fine. Don't beat yourself up, buddy. You tried your best. So we obviously go for the speed increase. And I know I should upgrade my, what is it, barracks to get the power increase instead. It makes more sense. But it takes wood, and wood is a thing I don't want to spend on anything other than kills right now. It's a bit of a shame. Cool. A modest fortune. So at this point, it's time to heal our wounds. The little wounds we have. Is there anybody else who needs? No. Okay, we're fine. We are horribly overhealing with this. What's that? More food. But, I mean, ready for the taking. thank you. But I'm actually here to get the halfling's big slime down. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Stupid little halflings. <laughs> this is so funny when they just trip and fall. Oh, here they are. Appraising the numerous armed halflings, the goblins realize that sagacity may bring victory where conflict cannot. With furtive movements, they scale the cage, unhinging its latch to liberate the indignant creature. Yeah! Incensed at its tormentors, the colossal slime lurches forth to wreak vengeance upon the oblivious halflings. Let's go! Goblins watch on with an ounce of mirth at the ensuing uproar. Squealing halflings take flight in all directions, running as fast as their little legs can muster. Preoccupied with his tasty snack, the warden turns to investigate the commotion. In disbelief, he finds himself ensnared and unable to flee. He can only look in silent terror as his ravenous captive slowly devours him. Vengeance is ours. With the halflings gone, the infuriated slime begins to shift its mindless rage to the goblins. Instantly regretting their clever idea, <laughs> they are left with no choice but to defend themselves from being devoured. Oh, I love it. The raw scale of this creature is truly a marvel. A terrible shame that it must be destroyed. It's huge! It's the Slime Queen! 600 health! All the resistances in the world. And Incubate Drone. On expire, take 10 damage and spawn a slime. Effect triggers immediately if attacked. Ha! Um... I'm gonna armor up. Think it's a good idea? Scold it. Why not? Get some fury going. Alright, double shot shoots twice at the same target. It does. And it drops two slimes. 
Okay, so we have to just deal with an army of slime. Gotcha. Well then. If we get a crit, we'd be fine here. Alright, don't get it. How do we play this? Like, oh god, this is gonna be weird. We're gonna try to destroy the slimes one at a time and lot, not let them overpower us. Okay, then. Let's go. Staggering here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And he, the big slime will always be at the last possible turn. Okay, okay, then. I think we can make something happen with that. Hmm. I'm gonna give the bandit speed so we can inspire everybody all the time and we can get the big hits in. We want big instances of damage. So here is the rally, the battle cry. Multi attacks are not good. We need the biggest possible attacks. Like this. A precise assault. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there will be a lot of chip damage in here. Another battle cry. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it again. It stacks. Hell yeah. So the thrust attack kills the frontliner and gets a massive amount of damage to the big slime. I think we have figured the slime queen out. I think this is good. Purify? Anybody needs that? No. I could go with the Divine Fury. Oh, you know, just bludgeon the guy. It's faster. Keep it under control. That's the goal here. Bash it. It's damage. Is the slime shrinking? Or am I, am I seeing that, that wrong? Uh, another battle cry? Question mark? Got sudden strike and pick wounds. That's not particularly exciting. These Bane arrows also not great. You know... I have a feeling that that's a good idea. Let's see where this is going. Uh-huh. So, battle cry again? That is a great combo, holy crap. This guy hasted is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Chop the front line. It's fine. Um, this here is probably... Ooh, what is it? A dunk trap? Okay. That's what I mean. Yeah, 63 damage on the blast. Holy crap. Kablam. This guy has magic armor, by the way. And we trigger the trap. Cool. What's that? On expire, take 10 damage, spawn a slime. Effect triggers immediately. Still, incubate sting. Ah, wait. They're dropping other slimes now, huh? A god slimeling. Alright. Alright. Without mercy. Thing is, we have the power. We have the power to take these out quickly. Without a problem. Killing mm -hmm. Okay, scold again. Four. Four. Four, four, four. For the shaman. This guy has a massive attack that makes a lot of sense here. Alright, battle cry once more. Sure. We want to stack on big attacks. Uh, double, I mean, double shot is just so much that we can probably deal with more slimes, right? We have a good chunk of AoE as well. Let's go with the double shot. And each slime dropped out of the big slime queen is also 10 damage. So we should be fine. Get the kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Bludgeon might kill. It does. 
This is a fun boss, but I feel like we are outnumbering this guy. Pestilence 14 to all. And he has so good. We got the 59 damage crit on this thing. This is a war of attrition enemy. Uh oh. Oh, we got the half health situation. Now it's getting dicey. All right, we actually got to think about what we do now. What? Yeah, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. All right, so then... Oh, God, how, how do we do it now? I think it's still Battle Cry. Could be Scold as well for big damage on Slumbringer. Slumbinger, actually. The armor is a problem. Anyways. Oh, God. Yeah, the crit solves the problem. Nice. Cool. Very good. Do we redraw for a trap? Ah. No. Just no. Armor up a guard. Do we... What's your damage? It's 8 damage. I don't think we're gonna guard or anything. We just go for the kill. It's fine. Motivate. Furious Cleave. Let me think. If I motivate you, you could healing gen or you could just go Pestilence. It's pest yeah, Pestilence might be good enough for a kill. Let's do that. Schnonk. It is 9 damage. Man, I was hoping for the 10 damage. But we have a decent crit chance. <laughs> Not quite there. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, and Slime Queen, by the way, doesn't spawn anything anymore. Right now, at the very least. So, that's pretty good. The bleed! Yeah! So, what's your deal, Slime Queen? What, what are you doing now? You're now, like... Regularly attacking us for 10 damage. I think this is where our tank is actually tanking. Let's go for it. Alright. Dunk trap, thrust. I want the double shot. We don't get it. And it's the trap. Trap is best damage to time ratio, so we're gonna go with it. Wakey wakey for the double crit chance. No. Trap fail. Still 172. Huh. Uh, this. Because he has magic armor. Motivate Battle Cry Bludgeon. Battle Cry it is. Just so much more damage all over the board. Double shot, yeah, and we benefit from the double shot twice, uh, like from the power up twice with the double shot. That's amazing. Exceptional skill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Down to 83. Bash him. <laughs> Nicely done. Yo, oh, my goblins start to be really good again. At the same time, we got a bunch of power ups in this run. I know. Still, I like it. Acid sludge. Okay, now we're bleeding for 15 damage over time. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're not gonna get there. And chop him down. Slime it's defeated. Demise is an unfortunate circumstance in this terrible conflict. The orcs no. arrive at the clearing. He survived. So seen with utter bewilderment. All that is left of the majestic creature is a profusion of incohate mucilage and a single sullen halfling. The orcs and goblins close in upon the slime-covered warden, his face purpling as he chokes in the grotesque puddle of slime. The warden breathlessly implores the goblins to hear him out before they decide to end his life. He apps on about a grand tale of adventure, together with a cryptic group known only as the Fellowhood. He claims <laughs> to be indentured to them, forced to do their bidding. Uh -huh. However, the Warden proceeds to warn them of the true enemy. 
Hordes of bloodthirsty adventurers are bound for the hinterlands. These excessively cruel groups have ceaselessly preyed on the knolls of his hometown. He has personally witnessed their slaughter, performed with great efficacy, driving them to extinction. Their lives oh, amounting man. to nothing more than loot and experience points. Yeah. The Warden vowed to never allow such a travesty to happen again. Without the gnolls, and with nothing left to hunt, adventurers have set their eyes on the orcs of the hinterlands. They will soon come in droves. <laughs> to prepare for this event, the Warden proposed building a massive camp to house the orcs in an effort to save them. With the Fellowhood's consent, the Warden built this camp. However, now that his precious camp is burned to ashes and the orcs now dispersed, the Warden's failure is sure to draw the ire of his masters and a punishment most severe. The orcs are dubious of the Warden's tale until he reveals that he orchestrated the use of slimes to safely drive the orcs from their villages well before the adventurers arrived. Oh my god! The old orc, recounting his own tragic experience with adventurers, confirms the warden's story. Yeah, right. He vividly recalls how these adventurers slaughtered his friends and his only son shortly after escaping the camp. Assigned to his failure, the Warden proceeds to share the location of the relocated villagers. The captive orcs are being held safely at a small camp just beyond the hills. Yeah. With this, the orcs immediately take their leave. They depart to reunite their captured kin and prepare for the incoming threat, leaving the fate of the Warden to the goblins. As a sign of good faith, the Warden leaves the goblins with a key. The key permits passage northward to the lands of the Golden Hollows, where the goblins can see for themselves the devastation brought by adventurers. Convinced that this halfling is not the wretch they thought, the goblins resolve to head north, abandoning the warden to stew in slime and regret. He's lying. He's lying. Man, what a plot twist, huh? <laughs> oh my god. So that's 150. We can probably get rid of a little one here somewhere. Is there anything? Yeah, we can drop the food. Okay. They can carry no they more. They can carry no more. Can I kick him in the butt? I don't like this guy. I honestly don't like it. But hey, it sounds like we unlocked the next chapter. Cool. <laughs> Alright. The Fellowhood, huh? Uh-huh. Great. Key to open the gate to the Golden Hollows. Okay. Alright. Does it mean we're gonna unlock the last class as well? Day dawns. Ah, uh, we'll see. With the key bestowed upon by the halfling, journey to the Jibberlands and use the key to unlock the hidden path to the Golden Hollows. That is a thing that I would very much like to do. Um, none of these weapons matter. Yeah, no. Not needed. Get rid of all of this crap. Okay. A fair trade. And we have enough wood and fiber probably to get some upgrades going. <laughs> Especially on the larder, man. Uh, let's trade it in. Here we go. Just what's needed. Let nothing go to waste here. Perfect. Okay. Question is. Which of the guilds do we want to upgrade? Yeah, we still have a master fun. upgrade on the... I think the, the Hunter's Guild? No, Hunter's Guild is done already. So the Raider's Guild still needs the big upgrade. Which gives us a good chunk of crit. A very good chunk of crit. The Guard's Guild still needs some. Which gives us a bit more armor. Per three body. So you need nine body. To actually make use of it in a good way. And the Shaman can just get a bit more power. Max life on the Bandit. And then also power per spirit on you. Anything that we can build here? Let me quickly check that. No, there's nothing new. Nothing new. Hmm. I think the max life matters the least. Maybe we hold on to our stuff. 
because there might be a new guild uh, unlocked soon. And we need the, the wood and the fiber for it. One check. Ooh, we, we have a lot, actually. We have a good chunk. Which means we can afford two upgrades, I believe. One here. Boom. And actually one here. Nah, not quite. Okay, so 25. Gotcha. So, guys, looking at the time right now, we are 40 minutes into the video. If you have made it so far, by the way, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want more. So you're still here, obviously. Uh, show your appreciation. Thank you. And I would say we're gonna go in again because I still have a little bit of time. So... There we go. The Jibber lands. We gotta make the breach. Are you for real? We need badges to go. Wow, what a. What a gatekeep! Three out of six badges. I mean, we got the badges, but that means we need to go for more scourges. The bitter innkeeper. The red handler. Eh. Eh. The corpse bride. Uh, let's go for the skeleton princess. She's really easy to handle. Also, uh, it's wood. Let's get wood. All right, then. All right, then. We need three more badges. At the very least, we have gathered some already. So, yeah, we're gonna get some. Why not? Why the hell not? Also, there's a possibility that we see new goblins now that the we might get the like, is there bigger, bigger stat lines. We'll see. Magic damage increased by 20%. Eh, yeah. alright. Should probably make use of my... my Acolyte skill a bit more. Alright, who are you? Defensive, ferocious. It's good traits. Defensive, ruthless. Fit, spirited. Not good enough. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. Okay. We want to harvest. So we go up, Guru, up, tough battle harvest. Yup. Here we are. Potential good day to you, sir. I honestly do like the double shot. That was a good idea to get it in. Divine Fury. Both adjacent foes. I mean, yes, please. Let's Practice go. Makes the warrior. It's a very nice pickoff. Divine Fury 2. More damage. Uh, improved. We have a big incentive to use the Acolyte for damage dealing now. Uh, and then there is... Uh, all of these men are not... I guess it's Devious An Shot. I wish there was a reroll here. That would be cool. So again, up. And in we go. There's a shop coming up as well. Okay, so our harvest here is minerals and rock. We still need that because there are still some upgrades that require the ore. Okay, intercept guard. Let's go guard. Scold on you. Wait, do you have it? You don't have it. Anyways. Alright, you are infuriated now. Let's go with the double shot, actually. Nice. It's just good initiation damage. Trying for the haste, which we didn't get. Swift Men Sacred Shield. Okay, we're gonna prevent some damage. Immune, but not immune to the stun. Yo, 14 damage. These guys are scary. Holy crap. Hmm. It's battle cry. Ah, right. Right, right, right. Our, uh, our weapon is not that good. We only get a plus three instead of the plus five from earlier. Still good. Good enough, I say. Hmm. Let's go for you. Okay, there's a crit. Yo, guys, we're getting damaged here. Bash would kill the halfling. Let's get him out. Good. Good, good, good. We have the swift mend. That is kind of needed here. 
Absolutely. I want to keep my my radar. No, bandit. Topped off. Soul Gale or Blast? Blast with a crit would be great. We might be able to knock him. Okay. A precise assault. I know I'm spreading the damage right now, but hey. Devious shot. 17 damage. You know, double shot might be really good here. If we crit, but only if we crit. No, so we go for the trap on the early adventurer C on the guy on the front. There's the divine fury, but we are not furious right now. So we only deal damage to one foe, which might be good enough. Trap fail. Feels like we are not dealing enough damage here. Oh, oh, hold up. To the front. Aha. <laughs> Seven damage, though. Divine Fury again! That's another trap fail. Oh, I was really hoping for it. Yeah, we're suffering. All right. All right, all right, all right. We got the devious shots. And uh, that might kill two of them. No, it doesn't, because the trap doesn't trigger. I forgot about it. Does it matter? Not too much. Not really. Okay. Gonna get you out. We have a healing chant coming up, so there is a bit of a chance. Ugh. I think it's worth. I think it's worth. We want we will get attacked once more. But look at that. That's 24 healing. And it's six damage. Totally worth it. All right, get him out of here. Our weapon shield, they on. Uh, I think that was a chance to actually get the Acolyte off again with another heal, possibly. Mm, okay, I might have missed out. Might have. Okay, there's a rummage. That's good money. Something of worth. So a shop might be a viable option, and we have one coming up. Okay, cool. What's here? More money. They stuff their More harvest. A decent harvest. So I think what we actually don't need at all is rock. We probably want to keep the mineral, but the rocks can go. Is it mineral? Is it ore? What is it called? Quick check if there's more valuables here. Nope. An intriguing so, set. what you got? Um, can I sell the key? There we go. We take this. 20% crit, 5 armor, 20% chance to knock back. Ooh, these are interesting. I want some of them. The crit chance is amazing and the armor is good. The knockback is okay. I can take all of them. But I think what's better is a bit more food and I still can take all of them hold up I mean sure we trade Just in everything needed. okay yeah perfect so I have crit who needs crit obviously my friend the raider there we go who needs armor I mean the guy with the shield who needs knockback the guy with the multi-attack so yeah here we go Anybody need healing? Yeah, we can do it. Okay. So, from here on out, we go for the chest, obviously. Absolutely. Very nice. A hundred gold. Fine baubles. Stay there. Ah! ah. I got tricked. He moved, but then I thought he would turn around. He didn't. Uh. Okay, then. Let's go again. Ha. Guarding the squishies is our one and only job. Let's do it. Scold. Beast Bane Devious Shot. Pick Wounds Wakey Wakey. Wakey Wakey is pretty good. We could also battle cry this. Actually, I think the Fury is better. Also keeps my... The bandit, more on the front line. Mm. 
Mm. That's 15 damage. For three. That's 18. It's better. <laughs> Two chances to crit. Uh, and the knockback as well. So, yeah. There's the wakey wakey or the chop. Let's go with the wakey. Massive crits. Hell yeah. One guy almost down. I love it. Purify Swift Mend. Mmm, doesn't feel good. I'm gonna go with the bludgeon. Oh, wait, I could have also Swift Mend it. And fished for another better attack. Because Swift Mend is only a one time tick. It's very fast. Uh. All right. Hmm. Going for the raider if I do this. Let's go. Since we got the armor bonus, I think we are fine here. There's healing chant. I'll take it. Schmonk. Alright, we're gonna try with the cleave. Give yourself a little bit of fury. Okay, double shot coming in. I guess we go for it. A vital blow. Double hit. I had that before. Once. Is there a hidden, like, extra hit chance or something? Feels weird, man. Bludgeon Purify Sacred Shield is not bad. I don't know. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because you're already guarded, right? No. Sorry for the second second guessing myself here. But I'm just trying to speak it out loud so I can internalize it to make it uh, or to do it better next time. Um, with 53% crit, I think we have a good chance to kill here. One of them needs to. Ah, damn it. And we would have gotten it. This is actually fine. Tank on the front takes all the damage. Lots of armor as well. Let's go ahead and heal him a bit. There we go. So. It's time to take one out. Good. It's a long fight here. Wasn't expecting it to go that long. Um... It's kind of weird. I feel like I want to rattle. So we have the stun. I think the ferocious cleave is not gonna kill here. So we go with the bludgeon. Yeah. Now we have the ferocious kill. Exactly. It's 10 damage. Let's go with it. We keep you infuriated. That's good. Mm. I mean, there's big damage on skim cooker, but we also have... Oh god, we have healing. Mm. But it would only affect one guy. I'm gonna say no. We have food. Let's use the food instead. Good. Ah! Nothing wasted. I love it. The shield was coming up. Okay, and then I think a double shot will kill if we get lucky with the crit. That's 12 and 11. We it's so weird. I think they have some rounding issues here. Mm-hmm. 20 crit on the bandit or acolyte. That's not bad. And 20% max life. Alright, let's check out. First of all, the food. I think that's good enough. Who wants the mullet? Mallet? Certainly bigger power, but less speed. Gain 5 life per attack. You are supporting all the time. You don't necessarily need that. I feel like it's a no. Power up in the crit. Is that better than a speed? It might be. We got max life bonus. Max life goes to... Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, you? I guess. Okay. Let's keep going. We have an event in front of us. Oh, it's an orc. What are you doing here, buddy? It's the Herbalist. <laughs> ah, wait. Sure. 
We're gonna try to help you out. I think we have seen this event before, therefore I'm not reading it out. Yeah, we have so much mind. This is perfect. Test of mind. We need 17. Easy. I think we couldn't have failed. No, that was always guaranteed. So, we get 10 max life on everybody. Total life 316. The goblins heal 20% as well. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now the question is... Where do we go? It's the nasty shrine into harvest, into shop, probably. We'll see. I don't need another goblin right now. One Old power. Stone mutters its great promises. I've got the power. Here is power. Uh. But is it in Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to leave the shrine now. Ooh, I'm chancing it. I'm chancing it so much. Holy crap. So, uh, we wanted to go to the tough battle. Let's do that. <laughs> it's massive. If you have that on a radar, you have so much damage. Okay, another Yumi. And ambush. No ambush. Hey! Here we go! Bash intercept gourd. Let's go and gourd. Nice. Furious cleave, scold. Hmm. I think we're gonna be in this battle for a while. Ooh, nice crit. Strike. Pretty good. Devious shot doesn't do a lot right now, so we go for the trap. I mean, it, it deals a good chunk of damage, but it's also a very long ability. A precise assault. Trap. <clears throat> <laughs> Almost got the guy. Almost. Nasty attack. Soul Gale. That will kill. That's good. My Acolyte is in a bit of a trouble... Oh yeah, troublesome situation. We need to save him. So we're gonna go Sacred Shield on you just to be sure. Wanna keep him alive. Devious shot again, it's good damage. But it doesn't necessarily kill yet. Nice knockback. Okay. This will help. Staggering hit. If the trap goes off, yeah, we got the kill, and if not, we have my friend the bandit again, who could have done it possibly. Another cleave. Yeah, makes sense, right? Sure. I think I really have the feeling that once we are locked into this cleave situation, we have to stay there to make use of the fury that we've gained to ourselves. This is uh, a bit of a weird situation there. Fishing for the crits, didn't get it. Sudden strike will kill. Nice. Shattering blow. And I think we just won the video game here. I mean, this fight. Swift meant, yes, thank you. And then we're gonna go in for the kill. Oh, beautiful! Exceptional skill. Beautiful. A victory. So we have a lot of stuff lying around. I think the shop would be very good for us. Yeah, look at all of the junk. Okay. A respectable haul. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Anything here? No. Fine well. So, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that, and that, and that. The bone knot, this is my regular bone. We're gonna keep that thing. However, I want all of that. Uh, I want the ore, that's what it's called. 20 crit, 20 life per kill, 20% chance to stun. Let me go and take the crit and the stun one with me. Not enough room. Okay. Man, honest, I mean, come back. They can carry no more. They can carry no more. <laughs> so, this is the crit one. Uh, 
Another bonus to crit on the Acolyte. Mm -hmm. And the stun that is going to go for the big AoE, like Soul Gale situation on the Shaman. Trade. Alrighty then. So we have filled all of our slots now. <laughs> Let's go. One last campfire before the boss. I think we are like super duper strong. Heal up. This is looking good. And we're gonna get our Hinterlands badge if we win the fight. But we have won it once with like incredible, like overpowering success. So I don't know if, if my new guys are gonna have a problem with this. This feels bad. Okay. Hello, princess. You are still here, huh? The lady of the lake. A princess, long dead and decayed to bones, wanders the woods endlessly searching. So, 300 health plus the summons. Which are honestly not the biggest of deals. At the very least, they weren't the last time. I'm wondering. Uh, 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 let's rattle. Got the stun. Let's go. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna do this. This is a bit of a setup, but it worked once and it worked very well. So you are infuriated now. Um. Yeah, I should have done it in a different way, maybe. But I want to haste. I know I'm gonna lose my fury with no effect, but I wanted to get the haste out as quickly as possible. Let's go with this here. Guaranteed kill on the Skello. As long as we control the skeleton stewards, we are fine. Did we have Sudden Strike? Probably. Sacred Shield Purify or just Bludgeon? <laughs> Bonk. Bonk is the answer, and the answer is bonk. Alright, scold. Sacred Shield Purify. Devious Shot. I think I'll do that. With the haste on the bandit, we have so many power-ups that we can throw out. Or maybe not. I can redraw. Another scold. Sure. I'm gonna put it on the damage dealers and be fine with it. Actually, I should put it on the Acolyte. That thing has an amazing um, crit chance. With the power up, makes a lot of sense. Devious shot, no. It's a thrust, it kills both of them. A bold attack. It's too easy, are you doing anything else but summoning? Guess not, huh? Battle cry. Very nice. Okay, I could armor up a bit to get a bit of bigger bash out later. I could just do that continuously. It's better, I think. Uh, yeah, get the haste. No haste, but damage. 54% chance to crit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I really feel like she's super easy to beat. And she's maybe one of the easiest bosses ever. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna wear her down. She's only going for the uh, for the skeletons. This is no match. Precise assault. Just a big health pool. I'm gonna go for the bash. Yep, it's the quicker attack. Devious shot. It's actually better here. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Looking good. Scold. Divine Fury is here. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That's gonna be interesting, depending on where the skeletons are positioned uh, around the princess. And since we have the Fury, we should also deal enough damage to kill a steward right away. Yeah, totally. Take it. Done. I could have attacked the midline, I know. But I also don't care about this. 
I want the princess down as quickly as possible. Maybe she has something that she can throw out when there is a skeleton on the battlefield, possibly. Do it again! Do it again, my friend. Uh, healing Chant, Pestilence, Blast. It's the Blast. Nice crit. Oh, she's also frozen. Oh, no. Let's go. Holy crap. Literally. Uh, yeah, double shot kills. With a final wail, Easy. the princess falls to silence. Easy. Hmm. Drop the food. We are not in need of that thing they anymore. Can carry no more. And we can carry no more. So we get another Hinterlands badge. We get wood and a bit of money. All right. Tell me, how much do we have now? Okay, we are actually fine on wood, but our fiber is still pretty low. Holy crap. That they can probably allows us to go for an upgrade on the barracks because barracks needs wood and uh, I think stone. Let's see what the new day brings. Acolytes Guild, what's going on here? I mean, we cannot upgrade this, right? Not at all. A proper barracks can fuel a strong it's bone and wood. I'll go for it because we have a bit of an uh, of a wood um, surge here. It also increases our roster size, which is nice. I like it. Okay, guys, I'd say that was successful. We need two more of these badges that we are going to farm in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.